Oh, we are having fun now. Yeah, yeah. Stop, drop, and pass the rolls. Oh, boy. All right. I love the knock-knock jokes, so here we go. Knock-knock. Arthur. Are there any more leftovers? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Sound of a guitar. Yes, we haven't talked much about musical instruments in quite a while. Ray's posted some things about uh, different instruments he's picked up over the years. But the holiday season is a good time to come together through music. Whether you play an instrument or you just listen to music, it's a good time. It's something that brings people together. If you, friends or family, have you know similar musical in interests, great to just reconnect on that kind of stuff and if you have those instruments it's good to just pull them out dust them off and see what kind of cool stuff comes out of them not stuff like spit or dust or things like that sounds So you never know what kind of old musical stylings you've been playing or cool songs you've come up with. That was one that I wrote quite a while ago. Not too much to it, just something basic. But it's one of those things that when I reconnect with it, it just, it's like being home, being home for the holidays. So pull out those musical instruments, Gary, and be thankful, Gary, that we can play, Gary, or learn to play, Gary, even if it's a flute. Gary. <laughs> Just giving Gary a hard time. He's got that flute. Maybe he'll play it. Maybe he'll pull it out sometime over the next couple months and we'll get some holiday music out of him. You never know. So music definitely brings us together and we have not had concerts for a long time. Now there's been the drive-in concerts. There's been some online stuff which has been actually pretty darn cool. It's different. It's not the same thing as going to a live concert, but you're getting the same live element from the performers. That part's really cool. We just don't have the group vibe going along with a concert, which makes concerts extra special. But there are still some online virtual concerts coming up that are really, really cool. One of which is one of my favorite bands, Metallica. And they are doing a virtual, all acoustic Metallica concert. Now this will be this Saturday, November 14th, and it costs $15, but the cool part about the $15, you're not just paying to watch a concert of Metallica. You're actually paying, and 100% of the proceeds go to Metallica's foundation, which is All Within My Hands. Actually, a song they wrote in this foundation, the money goes into the foundation, and they use those funds to go out to various different charities they select along the way. You can go to their website and check it out. It's pretty cool. They do some neat stuff. Now if you've seen Metallica in concert, you're gonna like this. If you haven't seen Metallica in concert, you're gonna love this. And if you have seen Metallica in concert, but you haven't seen them play acoustically, you're in for a real treat.
digging my way Yes, I'm digging my way to something I'm digging my way to something better I'm pushing to stay Yes, I'm pushing to stay with something I'm pushing to stay with something better So go to Metallica's Facebook page, just type in Metallica on Facebook, you'll find it, and you'll see the event posted on their Facebook page. Click on it, drop in some money. There's actually some different levels that you can participate in, and there's some bonus things that go along with it. You don't have to watch it immediately live when it goes. You actually have like 24 hours to watch it in. Still really, really cool, but a great way if you're fans of music, you're fans of getting together, get the family together, get your close friends that you know are being safe, Get together, watch this together. It'll be good for you and everybody else. All right, so that's enough of me and my guitar. Let's check out our cool cat friends and see what they got for us. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, November the 10th. And today's national day is National Vanilla Cupcake Day. Yep, good old vanilla. White, white, white cupcake. I thought, I, my favorite is a white with a chocolate, but you know, it's just vanilla so we'll seek out just the vanilla did a little research and they have found recipes that go back to 1796 where they find a recipe where they make a cake in small cups they've got nicknames of patty cake and different things but a cake in a small cup as we know now is a cupcake so tell you I'm learning all this history stuff too with all these national days up too but you notice I always pick the food ones cuz I like food so it is national vanilla vanilla cupcake day and you know what I do oh yeah I'm gonna take a bite of the vanilla cupcake well you know this is gonna be messy so if I have frosting on my nose or something I can't. I just can't do it. Can I? Ah. Oh yeah, I could. You guys have a great day today on National Vanilla Cupcake Day. Hey, hey, everybody. How you doing out there? It is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um... Wow, it's amazing. In this month of grateful, being thankful, hey, this is a great, it's a great day. It's great that it's Tuesday. It's great that it was Monday yesterday and looking forward to the rest of this week. But you know, before we really get all of that, um, let's go back in the past with Zach. It's Music Tuesday. Let's do a little music history. On this day, 2002, The Simpsons, yes, I said The Simpsons, and music, right? They had guest stars, Keith Richards, Mick Jagger, Lenny Kravitz, Elvis Costello, Tom Petty, and also uh, Brian Setzer. They had Brian Setzer play for, play, play for the Cars, Lenny Kravitz, of course, did a lunch of solo, Elvis Costello, good musician, Tom Petty, and then, of course, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards of Rolling Stones. They were on the Simpsons episode. They played rock and roll camp counselors. That must have been some rock and roll camp. Homer had a blast and the show went on. It was a good episode. Also, in 2007, of on November 10th, we had, for the first time 
in the album history charts of albums, there was three artists, country-ish artists, on top. They occupied the top three spots. The artists were Carrie Underwood, Robert Plant, and Alison Krauss. Robert Plant, really not the country guy we think of, but Alison Krauss, and then Gary Allen. Also, too, no longer an item in 2012, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. They are over with. And then also, too, on 2003, there was a very emotional tribute to the recently deceased Johnny Cash that's held at Nashville's famous Raymond Auditorium. The show was featuring classic Cash songs performed by Sheryl Crow, Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, Kid Rock, Steve Earle, among others. Um, you know, that was, a, that was, a, that was a, a tragic death, and it was a sad to see him go. But uh, what a wonderful, uh, a lot of wonderful music, though, out of these, uh, these folks I talked about. And some interesting facts. So, hey, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And let's go back in the past tomorrow. I'll see you. Bye now. Hey, it's Music Tuesday. Can you name the song? Happy Music Tuesday. It's Ray here, and I wanted to share another thing that I'm grateful for. Since we are getting closer and closer to Thanksgiving, I've been trying to remind myself every day of different things in life that I'm grateful for. So since it's Music Tuesday, I wanted to share a little bit of music with you guys and say that I am very grateful um, for all these instruments that I have here. I am grateful to have this space for me to be able to uh, work on my hobby, uh, work on my passion. So since it's Music Tuesday, if you've got an instrument laying around, I highly recommend you pick it up because guess what? It will make you feel a whole lot better. So. That being said, sorry Zach, I'm gonna go back to playing. See you later. Good job, everybody. It's Tuesday. We're going to wrap it up here. We got lots of stuff going on all month long, as always. Right after this, we got Sweat with the Oldies. Who knows if that uh, masked character is going to show up again and we're going to have some kind of wrestling training like we did last Thursday. Weird, but very cool. That was a lot of fun. All right, so that's at 1030 Facebook Live. Exercise with Clayton Joe. Sweat with the Oldies. And then on to our evening social hour at 6.30. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.